First of all, why would anyone want to create something like this? Scientists have been puzzled why uh, H5N1 bird flu hasn't kind of made that leap into the human population. Over the last five years, they've been tracking it carefully, and they know that it, inf that it kills 60% of the humans that it infects, but it doesn't spread from person to person. It only spreads from birds to humans. Now, what these Dutch scientists have done is, is look at the mutations, the key changes in the DNA of, of the, or the RNA, the, uh, the uh, genetic material of, of the virus, and find out what it needs to do to make that leap, to spread in the normal way of flu from person to person through coughs and sneezes. And they, they know that it's just five changes in ah. two genes, and that's all it needs. So there was a, a pure scientific reason for doing this research to prove that H5N1 could do this naturally, but of course they needed to speed that up and do it in the lab. But of course they needed to speed that up and do it in the lab. But of course they needed to speed that up and do it in the lab. Okay, but also does that help then? That's getting one step ahead of nature That's in, the idea. in terms of prevention and it cures. It could pr produce a vaccine or maybe uh, drugs further down the line so that they're prepared, should the virus naturally do this, they would be able to, to keep one step ahead. But of course there is this, this double effect by showing that it's possible, you're also giving the, perhaps the hint to bioterrorists, bioterrorists, bioterrorists who might uh, want to, to use this virus to, uh, to kill thousands, possibly even millions of people, and find out what it needs to do to make that leap, to spread. But of course, they need to speed that up and do it in the lab. And find out what it needs to do to make that leap, to spread. But of course, they need to speed that up and do it in the lab. And find out what it needs to do to make that leap, to spread, to spread, to spread, to spread, to spread.